what's up guys? I'm sure you all can guess what the subject of today's video is based off of the news that came out this week. And in fact, I'm recording this on the day that it was announced. The big news, the FTR 1200 is here. <laughs> You guys like that? That was the title of my last clickbaity video. I know you guys love that video. Man, that's uh, that video blew up a lot more than I thought it was going to, and despite it all, it still had still a pretty good positive reaction, all things considered. But no, if you were coming here today to see the FTR 1200 in action, my friend, you've come to the wrong channel. Because yes, this is going to be another video wherein I just talk about the bike that I desperately want to ride. I mean, okay, go. Come on, come on. Give me a break. The bike just came out. I'll bet no dealerships are even close to having it in their inventory yet. Come on, this ain't Revzilla. I don't have any connections. Although, if you go check out Dazzle Rebel Rides, my buddy over in the UK, he actually went to the launch event in uh, Cologne, Germany. It sounded like he was having a pretty good time over there. Go check out his channel. So, we in the Indian Motorcycle World Group are elated, as you guys can imagine, because <laughs> We're all buying into the hype, you know, you can you can give us that bias, that's fair. But uh, I have to say, when I released my last video, going over all the snapshots, leaked photos, leaked schematics, I had no way of knowing the bike was going to be anywhere near as sexy as it actually is. Oh man, we gotta get over it. Why not just avoid it? Let's have some fun. <laughs> Okay, that's a do not enter. That's not gonna work. See, this is the stuff that I'm looking forward to, man. If I can get an FTR, just f***ing hooliganing everywhere. Look at this, E30, beautiful. So yeah, this bike is gorgeous, man. I'm so excited for it. Random fun fact, it's the first chain-driven motorcycle that Indian has made in a uh, hmm, little while now, huh? Anyways, this thing has no business being as sexy as it is. And I say that with complete, complete genuineness because, because this thing is basically everything I wanted out of my Scout. You know, I've been talking for a while now in my old videos, if you guys want to go check those out, that I've been wanting something like almost Cafe Racer-esque. And dudes, <laughs> the lines of this bike kind of harken to a Cafe Racer, like, I know it's supposed to be a tracker sort of style thing, but it's very, very unique and hybridish, and I think it marries itself. I think it marries itself together in a very nice way. <laughs> but it gives me rear set pegs like I've always wanted on my Scout, just for stuff like that. I love the sporty stance they've given it. I. <laughs> I can't talk this bike up enough. Ugh, still getting over a flu. So yeah, we got two options. We got the base FTR 1200, and it seems like they're giving you pretty much everything about the bike that you've been looking forward to. It's just that they're also giving an S package. So the S, or Sport, is going to have all the fancy gadgets and technology that you'd want out of a sport bike, where it's got ABS, defeatable traction control. That's pretty awesome. It looks like they've kind of given it a longer wheelbase, or maybe just the images we've seen that are leaked are just kind of skewed. But I would think that, that would help a little bit with all the wheeliness. But I mean, come on, it's still gonna do wheelies a lot easier than a Scout. Dude. <laughs> wow. Pay attention, people, Jesus Christ. I don't want to be near that person. Jesus, what are you doing? Oh my God. Five o'clock traffic is terrifying. And so with the more technology sort of oriented bike with the Sport, of course the base package gets the very standard sleek and sexy Scout Bobber speedometer cluster. And you know, I've gotta say, I really do enjoy Indian in general is kind of adding rider modes to their whole setup now. Unfortunately, I don't think those rider modes come on the base FTR 1200, but they will come on the Sport, and they'll be accessible via a, what is it, a TFT dash? Is that what they're calling them? Those big LCD screens? Well, this one's not so big, but it's, uh, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna be honest. It looks like you just have a smartphone. If I'm really honest, it looks like you got like a Garmin Nuvi or something right on the front of your bike. And I'm just not a fan of that at all. I'm kind of old school. I like the analog dash. I like my little digital display. You know, that's fine. 
So I would prefer to stick with the base FTR 1200 for just that aesthetic reason, but for everything else, man, rider modes, you're gonna get standard, you're gonna get sport, and you're gonna get rain, traction control, ABS, wheelie control. It's essentially the same bike, and I think that's, I think that's admirable. We're not getting a detuned engine, we're getting the same new power plant that they're introducing with 120 horsepower and 85 pound-feet of torque. I'm fairly certain those are taken at the crankshaft, kind of like how Indian does with their other bikes. I mean, come on. When you measure, are you measuring from the balls? Of course, everybody does, right? You gotta give the most accurate measure, you know? But I'll tell you what, guys, I'm super stoked for this bike. I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> I, uh, I've been fighting back and forth throughout this whole process on deciding whether or not I actually want to buy one, trading my Scout in for one. I love this Scout, man. I have future plans for it in terms of overall aesthetics. Uh, a lot of people don't like the way I have it set up with the sissy bar and ape hangers. You know, that's fine. I get it, because once I put this package all together, it didn't look like it was going to look like in my head. Looks like you're trying to be a sportster and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Y'all know how I feel about Sportsters. I wouldn't really in purposely, intentionally try to emulate them. Let's try to give my bike a unique look, and... Well, to some, it's uniquely bad. But to me, it's nice. I like it. But it's not what I want to do. I, want, I wanted something more... Classic Scouty. But like I said, guys, hats off to Indian. You guys made a beautiful product, and you made the fight that I've been having. The struggle, internally. Oh, uh, you made it more difficult because you made it basically right around the same price as the Scout. And if I want the fancy doodads, what's two grand more from financing? Anyway guys, I know my videos have been kind of light here lately. I kind of had to put a little, uh, <laughs> I had to click bait y'all a little bit last week. Well, actually the week before because, uh, I've, I've had that flu all week. You guys should follow me on my Instagram. That's where I post most of my updates. Anything on my channel, anything news related that I don't cover here, I'll cover there. So go up there and follow me. And follow the Indian motorcycle world peeps too. They're all great guys and I think we're gonna get together later this month and do another live stream. Those are fun. We're gonna try and keep it a little bit shorter this time so they're more watchable. Suzuki Reno. Now see, this is awesome. I, I love seeing Suzuki cars. <laughs> I love seeing Suzuki trucks more, but you know. I'm all about the Suzuki Samurai. I'm so mad that the new Gemini is not coming to the United States. I gotta head home now, guys. Let me know what you think about the bikes in the comments. I'm super stoked for them. I can't wait to bring you guys a test ride from those. Ugh, I'm already in contact with the dealer. Hopefully I'll get one ASAP. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you enjoy. You know, all the same normal YouTuber bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, peace out.